Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. When we last left off, uh, we were about to go downstairs because we just finished the outside passage. Yes. Um, I'm still curious as to what is in that room. And my phone's vibrating like a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm curious to just go check, see what's in that room. Um, we have loads of hunters there, but if there's nothing super important over there, then we can just reset anyway. Uh, also, we need to have a quick check and see what is in that item box anyway. I don't think there's anything like super important and I'm really excited because I'm getting a new headset. Although I have to wait till Thursday to get it. So my headset, I have had a Corsair HS50 for about 608,000 years. Um, well, probably closer to five years or whenever this headset came out. And it's starting to, well, show its age, should we say. The ear pads are starting to fall apart. Um, which is something that I've only recently noticed. But... My partner's just bought me a new one, HD six, uh, HS60 Pro Corsair. So, very much looking forward to that. Man, it's exciting to get a new headset. Pretty much every video I've recorded in the last, like, four or five years has been with this headset. Also, the microphone is detachable for this uh, headset. And I lost that when I moved. <laughs> so, hey, that would be nice to have back. Anyway. Enough about the boring stuff. Let's go. Uh, hopefully there's something cool down here. We've got lots of pistol bullets now. So we could maybe... Oh no, we killed these hunters, didn't we? Yeah, with the pistol. Because Jill's a straight badass, I guess. Okay. Now, what have we got in here then? Don't see nothing. We got the yellow gemstone. Is that it? That can't be all that's left in that room. Wait, have we? Wait a minute. We need to use the yellow gemstone in that. Ah, uh, oh, I'm getting confused with the original game. Yeah, because of course the red gemstone gets used up in that box, and you don't get it back. Oh. Okay, this is where... Yeah, you get the Mo disc from this. Jesus. Okay. You right there, buddy. Can you, like, piss off? We don't really have any interest in you, dude. I'm just saying. Sorry to, you know, put you down like that, but it's the truth. Right. Oh, God. I bet everybody's been shouting at me in the comments about that. Which is bloody fair enough. Yes, it's because that's one thing that trips you out in the original game. Uh, in the original game, you uh, put a blue and a red gem into the eye sockets. And in this game, they throw that uh, yellow one in here. And if you put the blue and the red in, in the remake, you get a load of snakes dropped into your face. So, yeah. Right. He shouldn't, yeah, I was going to say. There's no way he's going to be able to grab me. That's fine. Now. Kind of interesting, though. We... Oh, that's just a zombie trying to break through. Not the hunters. I'm not sure why there's no hunters down there. Is there no hunters there in the remake? Huh. Curious. Uh, anyway, that doesn't really matter now, does it? So, what we can do here is we need to think about this. I mean, I'm assuming we can come back. I can't see why we wouldn't be able to come back. Unless it's like, oh, I don't need to go back or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Can we... Yes, Lisa. You know, that groaning sound terrified me the first time. Uh, I heard that. Lisa Trevor, is she's still one of my favourite bosses. Uh, is she? A, is it fair to call her a boss? I mean, she's not really. 
But um, she's one of my favorite uh, additions to the Resident Evil universe. She's awesome, man. She really is. Uh, there's a save ribbon there, but there's also a box here, which I'm guessing has got sweet FA in. Uh, yeah. That really throws you off, though, because the first item box that we had um, had stuff in it, whereas this one doesn't. Do we really not? No, we don't get anything. I think there's ink ribbons in here originally. I'm not sure. Right, this is where we make our decision. Do we let Barry die? Saving Chris is kind of trivial. The thing is, our biggest bottleneck for saving Chris and saving Barry is ammo, right? We have so much ammo that it's kind of a moot point, you know? Might as well save everybody. I mean, we're only going to get a few more uh, handgun bullets, which is irrelevant. Or five more magnum ones. I was worried because I thought you were. <laughs> Don't do it, Baza. Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Uh -huh. Don't lie to me. Ah. Oof. Oof, I she ain't a looker. Jill, hand me my gun. Ooh, right, guys. Are we going to take the easy way out? Like, fuck, we are. There you go, Bazaar. We've got enough handgun rounds to take out uh, the tyrant. Because here's the thing, right? Yeah, you've got to fight the tyrant twice. Um, come on, Barry. Use those blanks. Come on, Barry, in your own time. Thank you. Uh, yeah, fighting the tyrant the first time is actually... Right, Jill. Jill, move. You can be knocked off here, which you better believe is a bad time. Yeah, so fighting the tyrant the first time in the lab is, like, pointlessly easy. If you have the ammo. And we have the ammo. God, she looks so grisly. What are you seeing over what's what, what's funny? Oh, you're watching you're looking at hedgehog memes. What is he putting on that hedgehog? <laughs> Mrs. Uh, loves hedgehogs. What is he putting around that hedgehog? Yeah, what's he putting around his neck? <laughs> oh, I'm being beckoned. One second, guys. Well, that was random. I just watched uh, a guy put pipe cleaners twisted in the shape of the Teletubbies um, dingly dangly bits. Uh, <laughs> on a hedgehog. And my life has been thoroughly improved for it. Right, let's have a look in here inside the Often is a skeleton. Why? Like, oh, Resident Evil. A family picture. It's a letter to my Lisa. Today, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mummy's itching go away. Today, they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shots, mummy, mummy's can think straight but mummy's shocked and sad because mummy is unable to think of you all the time mummy's afraid afraid of forgetting everything especially the memories of you and daddy what your faces look like how we used to be together they're all starting to disappear into uh into somewhere dark in my mind oh lisa i wish i could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that i could hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chances to escape 
is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we're both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is off guard, that'll be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together, okay? Okay, sweetheart, be strong, Lisa. Lisa Trevor. Oof. Yeah, I think one of the, like... Yeah, we need the wolf medallion and all that. I think, like, one of the darkest parts of this game is just how bleak it is. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. All right, Barry, you not going to say anything? See, that's flickering up there. There's nothing there, though, because the room uh, hasn't changed color. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, this whole setup here as well, like, Lisa was just, um, or Jessica was just one of the experiments. So why did she get this lavish coffin in this mausoleum? It's very strange, you know? Um, now, we need the wolf medal. I think that's the last we see of uh, Lisa. I don't think I've ever had to come back up here, so I'm not sure. I know there is another... Uh, right, let's grab as much stuff as we can. We don't need any of this. So let's fill our inventory up. Use that as a halfway house. Right, so we can get um, eight items and drop them down there. Okay, so we need the wolf and the eagle medals. Uh, right. Let's go and grab that, shall we? We could also possibly use a herb for healing, but we want to make sure that we've got enough herbs. I mean... The like I say, the first time we fight the tyrant, he's not much to write home about, you know. We can keep our distance, because he only slowly ambles towards us. We can shoot him a few times. Um, second time we fight him, that's a different story. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to want to hold on to the magnum for that, for sure. Now, these crows never seem to attack us, like, ever. I like the way they found that note of Jessica's as well and left that on her body, kind of like as a final fuck you. There's your escape plan. Oh, it's so... I suppose it could have been buried in her clothes. Uh, but nah, I, I think it's more <laughs> sadistic and evil to put that on her corpse. Man. Hmm. <laughs> Umbrella is just, it's such a shady, evil corporation, man. It's just, you know. Um, do I want to take the fuel canteen and the lighter? I'm going to say maybe, because we might want to burn some bodies. Let's take all the artillery. See, this is a prime example. I mean, we've got to come back and collect this stuff anyway. What's left? Oh, wow. Okay. All right, well, I guess it doesn't really matter what we take. I'm guessing it's not. I mean, I'm guessing, like, nowhere in this particular game is ever truly locked out. Funny enough. I'm not sure. I need to find out uh, when we do the Brad version of the game. Uh, the forest version of the game. One mean zombie or whatever it's called. I need to find out what difficulty that game is. The game is, I should say. Because I'm guessing it's probably normal or hard. Because that might be a good little mode to do with the knife only but having said that having said that yeah we'll play as chris because chris has got more hit points but he holds less items but that's a total moot point it doesn't matter um right because we can skip most of the enemies i mean we know that 
we know we can skip most of the enemies. And we're probably going to find a lot of here. Well, <laughs> actually, I don't want to say that. I was going to say, we're probably going to find a lot of uh, health items in the lab. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about that, actually. I'm going to say probably not. All right. This is needlessly annoying, though, to do this. But we do need all this gear. Well, these two items, I'm not, I'm not convinced, per se, that we actually need the lighter. But I don't know how quick zombies are going to turn into crimson heads in the lab. There is fuel in the lab. There's enough to burn four bodies. Now, obviously, there's a load of rooms in the lab that we don't need to go into. There's loads of rooms that we don't need to touch. Uh, but just the main corridors, really. Uh, we can skip some of the puzzles in the lab, especially the ones with the x-ray pictures, because I already know um, the passwords. So we will go into those rooms and we'll have a look, I guess, but we don't need to fiddle and fart around with them, because I already know the codes. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go continue. This is a bit fucking annoying. I mean, I guess this mode's more for like a heavily optimized run where you can just grab up. I just noticed um, in my controller. Port here. It's actually going slightly rusty in there. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Micro USB chargers. God. Whoever thought that was a good idea should be shot. Or at least given given a serious seeing to. Uh, right, let's grab that. Eat that. Oh god, we need two. Yeah, we need two green herbs. I mean I guess that's just lightening the load, right? That's less stuff that we gotta take with us. We do have a good amount of healing. Uh the chimeras are possibly gonna be a well, not a problem per se, but they're going to be annoying because we have to kill the chimeras. We have to. Uh, oh, nice. We can do that in this run. All right, not bad. Yeah, chimeras are going to suck because uh, you kind of have to kill those for one reason. And that is the nitroglycerine or the nitro powder that we use to fuel the generator down in the lab. We have to uh, kill those. Uh, which is where the overwhelming majority of our shotgun shells are going to go. I'm hoping we will find some uh, more shotgun shells in the lab. I'm kind of doubting it, though. I think we might find a couple of handgun magazines. I don't think chimeras, just because generally, I mean, there can be up to three or four of those things coming at you at once. Uh, I don't think the pistol's going to be that effective against them. And they can kill you pretty quick as well. Another problem with the chimera, of course, is the fact that they... <sighs> they're really fast and squidgy. Um, they kind of like duck and dive all over the place. Like jumping onto the uh, ceiling and stuff like that. They're going to be hard to hit without the auto aim. They're going to be really hard to hit without the auto aim. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to ferry everything into the lab. This is going to be annoying. Right. What do we want to take? Our healing. I. Well, we don't have any enemies to take out. So let's just go with this. I guess we can split our resources between the two now, because it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, God, it's endless back and forth. <clears throat> but I guess that's part of the challenge of this mode. All right. Because there's no obstacles between the... Barry's just here waiting for us. That's curious. Because there's no obstacles uh, waiting... 
between here and the next save point. I'm going to cut out the next trip. Because otherwise you guys are just going to be like watching this and you know. You guys deserve better than that. Right, uh, so there's the wolf. Middle of the wolf. Put you in there. And I wonder if Baz is going to be back there when we go back there for another return journey. There we go. We've got a good supply of healing items. Could it be better? Sure, sure. But it's not bad. Considering this is like the hardest difficulty and we're right at the end of the game. I mean, there definitely isn't a humongous lack of ammo. You do have to think about it. But it's not, you know, crazy. But yeah, if we do a knife run, we're going to get the every nook and cranny achievement as well, which I don't have. And apparently the every nook and cranny achievement, you have to... Yeah, because down here's a save room. Uh, to get the every nook and cranny achievement, you have to pick up every item, open every door, and enter every room. So we've got some save ink ribbons here. That's interesting. Yes, 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 yes. You mean the ink ribbons right by your feet, Jill? Them? Yes, thank you. Right, anything in here? No, why would there be? Right, so healing items can be up here. So we've got... We've got a lot of full hills here. One, two, three. We've got nearly four full hills. I mean, sure, it's not going to set the world on fire, but that's not bad. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to cut these trips out whilst I get all of our items. we got a bit of a problem, guys. We can't go back. Um... Or am I just being stupid? Right, I'm just being stupid. I was trying to... I just literally had a brain fart and shit my pants. Like, uh... Like, wait a minute, but we didn't come in through a big iron door. That's the iron door to exit the place. Oof! Scary. Scary few seconds there, I can tell you. Barry's no longer here, by the way. Uh, he's obviously fucked off somewhere. Probably chilling with Wesker somewhere. And I thought, just in case you hadn't seen this animation before, because I hadn't. That's what the elevator looks like when it comes back up from the lab. I'd never seen that before, so I thought I'd throw that in. Okay, so that took three trips, but we have everything. Yeah, I was really worried. <laughs> when I tried that big door, the sign reads, will not open unless first class emergency. Yeah, when I first read that, I would not that, but the door upstairs, I was concerned. I think it's fair to say uh, I was I was concerned because uh right, we are for now <sighs> we're going to roll with oh, we got that healing item as well. We've got more healing items than than I thought we had. Um Okay, let's crack on into the lab. I'm guessing we're going to find a lot of uh, healing items. Well, just items down here. Yeah, so I was wondering how we were supposed to complete this game without anything. I mean, I don't think the game, this game would be that cruel. You right there, friend. Right, let's take this guy down. And we're going to burn him as well. Oh, yeah, sorry, pal. I'm not buying what you're selling. Come on. There you go. That's it. Please don't shoot the wall, Jill. There you go, buddy. How are you feeling now? You dead? I guess you are. I'm surprised. Right, next. You. 
Would you? Adam Bleeder. Oh, there's three here. Curious. We might use a good amount of bullets here. Which is fine. That's what they're there for at the end of the day. We're not intending on taking any of these homeless. Ooh. Two hits on him. Yeah, he's not done. Maybe he is. I'm reasonably surprised about that. Okay, let's go back and burn these bodies. Because we are going to come back here later. And that will leave us with two uh, units of fuel. Which actually... Should be all the fuel we need. Uh, right. Yeah, that should be all the fuel we need. So, cool. I think that's the only thing of gasoline down here. Because the zombies in the main area downstairs, the main um, corridor section, do come back, I think. There you go, guys. Feel better for that. You're welcome. Might as well get the last load of kerosene whilst we're here. Four units of kerosene. I'm pretty sure on the easier difficulties, uh, or at least on easy, normal might be the same. Um, you actually get eight. No, six, sorry. Six loads of fuel. Right, there's another mo disc, which is good. Can't go in there yet, because we need to use the code. This corridor is clear. Well, let's go, Joe. I'm enjoying using the handgun, though. It's just cool to still be using this weapon. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, to be honest. Right, there's zombies in here, but we kind of don't really need to fight them. Now, there is something around here. Defense dagger. I mean, yeah, sure, I'll take it. I guess. I don't see any point in not taking it. That door at the far end is open, so let's check this one out. Now, there should be magnum rounds in here. But on this difficulty, I don't know, Chief. Oh. I guess... I guess on this difficulty, they just give you nothing instead. There is still the battery there, which is cool. But really, they give you nothing. Uh, look how gribbly that is, man. Got like female zombie there, and the cadavers are frozen, wrapped in body bags. Ugh. I mean, look at that. How many is there? Lots. I don't know if they were zombies or something else. Anywho, oh, let's go do this. I mean, I already know. The codes. I'm not going to pretend that I don't know them. I, that's, I'm just, that's just pointless to me. I think that's John, actually, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't see the point in, you know. Say, oh, we've got to do the puzzle before we put the password in. Why? We know what the passwords are. We've played this game 100,000 times. All right, and this one is cell, whereas in the original game, it was mole. In fact, I think. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you put mole in, you get a uh, hidden sound effect. Uh, right, so it is cell. Uh, apparently that sound effect is from Tofu. From Resident Evil 2. So let's open up all these doors. 
Nice. Good stuff. Right, that's that. And then there's a report here. V-Act. Researchers note. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic com composition of the body. The host eventually mutates. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V-Ax. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. Uh, that dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Yeah. But. Yeah, that's it. Nothing else here. Yeah, you did. You did confine it to... Uh, <laughs> um the backyard but you also put it in a like macabre coffin and attached ropes or chains to it this door should now be unlocked no it's not we need the key um which is kind of strange guys attaching and then you oh god hello i knew you was here somewhere touch me dirty fucking bastard right yeah there should be a healing item in here not sure why they trapped it in an iron coffin, attached chains to it as every limb. Yeah, okay, so this is still here as well. Curious. So what do we get in here then? Green herb. Alright, well, you know, it's just a green herb, but green herb's a green herb, I guess. Right, yeah, this is the cell room. Alright, I mean, kind of easy, Gale. From what I can remember, there's something scrawled onto the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Yeah. Alright, Ed Fisher. That should be Alex Bletchett. Um, Gail Holland. Right. Now, I can't remember exactly how this goes. Let's turn that on. Uh, part of it's glowing. Is that the lung that's blowing? Well, if you assemble these in the right order, it spells out cell. And then I think there's another button we can push here. Researcher's letter. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I'm just teetering on the edge of reason i'm thinking about my impending doom i would give anything to have not become one of them as far as i know you're not infected i sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive i want you to get the material from the visual data room then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here please do everything in your power to make this whole instant public if everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as a password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement, level 2, where the visual data room is uh, located. As a safety measure, I have coded the password into an x-ray picture. Uh, a rentogentogram. I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing, and it's my last request. 
I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you, put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Mmm, John, Ada. Right, lungs, esophagus, liver, stomach, small intestine. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Yeah, and I, I think they mean, so, like, uh, the colon goes first. So, colon, lung. So, it's this one, I think. What's this one? There's no change. There's no change. Part of it's glowing red. Yeah, so that's the liver. So we need E. There's no change. So we know the two lungs go at the end. Part of it. So colon is first. Uh, right. Two positions have been exchanged. Okay, so we need... So that's right. That's the lung. So lung, liver, and that's colon. So that should be... Can we not exchange that? Esophagus. Yes, yeah, so that's it. That's in the right order. C E L L. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh shit, we're on like 37 minutes. Dude, when the fuck nuggets did that happen? Uh alright. Well uh I'm gonna save it then. Uh well we don't need to save it. I'm just gonna stop recording. When we come back, we're gonna continue exactly where we left off. So thanks for watching guys. And as always, till next time.